Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Is there a relationship out there, a couple out there, that you emulate or you, you hold up to you know, a certain standard and they're your yardstick? Dev, I'm going to start with you. So I have a beautiful story. Yeah. My best friend Dana just moved to London and she moved there to be with uh, her current boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I hope it's her current boyfriend. That, that she met in Tulum, Mexico, and Tulum, Mexico is a really special place. I was there a couple weeks ago working That's on beautiful. my tan. Yeah, so we, <laughs> so uh, they met there, and then they were traveling back and forth, Toronto to London, London to Toronto to see each other. Yeah. And finally, she got her papers and moved out to London. And when I asked her, do you have a job there? Do you have work there? She said, no, but Mark told me, her boyfriend, uh -huh. just come and we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was heartwarming, and I would love to... Uh, to find someone that you know, I, I want to travel or not travel, but just move away and just start kind of fresh with yeah, them. Yeah, leap of faith. Cool. Yeah. A leap of faith for faith. sure. No like plan. that would be a tough. That would be a tough. Uh, it would be tough to be convinced to leave everything behind with no plan. Am I right? For true love, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> for true love. Karen, is there a relationship that you hold in high regard and high you regards. say to yourself, "This is a good pathway"? Yes, absolutely. Hands down, as my parents, they've been married for 52 years. Amazing. Yeah. And what it was cool about when I think of my mom and dad's marriage is that they they went through different seasons. It was I would say it was always commitment and loyal, mm -hmm. uh, faithful. I never had to worry about them kind of moving away. But it was okay. And then it kind of went and made this amazing spike. And I would actually say the difference was when I'm the youngest of three kids. And when I was in high school, my mom was a stay-at-home mom, and she decided to go back to school. Okay. And there was something very powerful. It's like it awakened her. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, she was using her brain in a way that she hadn't been maybe using it before. And all of a sudden, she birthed this new confidence, this new sense of self. And it just fueled this amazing new, really, relationship. So I really saw my parents kind of have almost this almost second marriage. Mm -hmm. And I lived at home to the day I got married. Yeah. I was that girl. I know. It's like unheard of. But <laughs> the 27 years old until like the day I got married. And yeah. so I really saw them in this new marriage uh -huh. when I was in my 20s. That and is so not unheard of in immigrant families. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We stay home yeah. until there's a ring. <laughs> well, I, mean, I loved it. I loved, it, but I saw my my, my parents with that. Right. Well, I saw my parents in a different season, and yeah. it was um, and it was awesome. That's amazing, and it also shows you though when one half of the couple goes out and reinvigorates yes. themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, that they bring that back to the totally. relationship, yeah. and it does something to the marriage. Well, you have you have things to talk about and to think about. Yes. You get, you're yeah. having conversation. You're getting energized. Yes, and so I recommend for everybody to uh, to kind of think with what's that thing Always that's going to refuel them. Always be learning. Yeah. How about you, Shelley? Yeah. Uh, we're surrounded by tons of great examples. We're really lucky. We actually do have all my siblings and our parents, a lot of great relationships, but the honest answer is no. We don't have anybody that we emulate or want to be exactly like. Yeah. We totally march to the beat of our own drum. Mm -hmm. uh, we've made lots of life choices that were unconventional and things like that. And, you know, it's working for us because we're on year 26, and I still like them. Yay! Yay! Definitely my mom and dad, they are an inspiration. They joke together, they love each other, and I think um, they are fabulous. Mm. 